to it. So we're discussing the uh, pitfalls of modern medicine. Is that right? You know, I don't know if you guys have ever heard this statistic, but as far as death in America, there's like heart disease, car accidents, and then medical malpractice. Mm. Yeah. yeah that's Shouldn't be the case. That's, that's what's probably, I guess, driving my lack of faith. In, in, because they're human beings. Mm-hmm. You know, they're not perfect. And, uh, they have bad days. Sure. <laughs> Sleep deprivation. Many factors can cause... Uh, Situations like that, but but that's but that's that's a big, huge statistic because the third leading cause of death is the people that are supposed to be preventing that, uh, at the very least. Sure. I mean, then again, these are humans. Yeah. Right. And they can make mistakes, and mistakes do happen. But people die, AJ. But people die. All sure. Right. Sure. So what do we do? What uh, do you think? Oh, solution is okay. So my personal solution is. I try to stay as healthy as possible <laughs> by doing no. There you go. <laughs> Any more? I'd eat drink more water. water. Yeah, drink more water. Absolutely. Right? Vegetables. Um, cancel guess, Coke. <laughs> yeah, cancel Coke. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess it wouldn't want to work there either with all their training. Mm. Stuff. We've talked about that training. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, we did. Yeah, pretty absurd, huh? <laughs> oh, it. Um, yeah, that, you that want to talk a, about that? Yeah, that was a. Yeah. That was nuts. It. Uh, doesn't look good for our side when that uh, <laughs> when that happens. I don't know what you think about it. <laughs> Probably the same thing we think. Did about you it. Uh, watch our podcast? Yes, I on did. That? You I did. did. What did was, you think? I was pleased at what you guys, uh, 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 you know, you guys oppose it. Of course, um, I was holding my breath though. I'm like, they better say they gonna this say is not cool. <laughs> Stamp of approval on this thing? No, it's um, like we said before. Like it takes. Um, Focus on the important issues that we have. Yeah. Like oh, yeah, that was a good point. Yeah, like, so. wh- what are we, why are we talking about this? Well, we're talking about this because the folks at Coca-Cola decided that we're just going to hate on white people in the training program. Like, why is that Why is that a thing? Why, you know what I mean? Um, it's I just as silly as some of these other narratives that are being pumped out to American people and, and expecting them to just go, oh, there's no such things as boys and girls anymore. Okay. <laughs> I, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta rethink my identity now, right? It's almost like there's, there's, there's these bad ideas that are just being green lighted through and just just being flagged on through, and nobody is saying, "Hey, wait a second, pump the brakes. Maybe that's not a good idea because nobody wants to be called racist or, or not progressive or whatever." You know what I mean? Nobody wants to stand up and say, "Hey, well, wait a second, that's not true, or th- we can't do that." Or hey, we said it. We did. I mean, we we don't agree with it. I mean, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, you can ha- have all those letters if you want to later on, but at birth, there are only two sex. I mean, there's a boy and a girl, and that's it. Aphrodite. Okay, so my girl <laughs> asked me that same question yesterday, and I said, okay, babe, she didn't know the name. Oh, yeah. but she goes, what if you're born with two uh, sexual organs? Okay, that is very, very rare. But that's like, have you ever seen anybody who has two sexual organs or three eyes or two noses? Me neither. I'm still looking. I mean, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> I mean, I know in India there's a kid that has like six arms or whatever, but oh, they think he's uh, what Shiva? Uh, Shiva, or, yeah, yeah. But he's not Shiva. He's just a result of ancient orange or something, right? <laughs> oh yeah, let them hold on to their yeah. fairy tales, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So, th- so there we cl- we there we see a direct correlation between a kid who has whatever more than your n- number of supposed limbs and why he has those. It's not like he was just. Oh, the hermaphrodites have been around for thousands of years. We've known that from Greek mythology. They've talked yeah, about hermaphrodites. Yeah, I mean, that's, but that's not a normal no. bird. I mean, that's a abnormality. Yeah, that's so an we, yeah, so it. So what caused uh, it? Though? I mean, we cannot, uh, uh, starting now, we cannot just say on birth, hey, we don't know. Yeah, well, we'll find out when we'll decide later, uh, this kid start dressing like a woman or a, <laughs> a man. <laughs> yeah, now it's the time to put gender on it. I mean, that's not going to happen. I mean, it's, it's just, I mean, it's just not possible. Well, we'll see what happens in the future, though. Yeah. <laughs> it, societal shifts happen all the time. We'll, I mean, just a few years ago, gay marriage wasn't a thing. It was impossible. Now it's possible. So, yeah, I mean, uh, who knows? Who knows we don't have know? to agree with those things. No. We don't. But, uh, you know, that's the, the standard shifts and the morality. It was what was moral back then was yeah. it's not moral now. 
and what's moral today won't be moral yeah. five years from now. I mean, so. we will be called uh, probably Stone Age two guys, you know, they were just in there in Stone Age. Yeah, or yeah you, guys are, you guys are looking forward to those labels as well. Yeah. Right? Oh, they're coming. They're coming. Yeah. That's okay. Well, so. <laughs> that's, uh, I'm not too worried about it. But no, uh, Now, see, now see uh, there's, uh, we keep saying this, too. There could be a lot of stuff that we do disagree on. I, we haven't really kind of focused on that yet. Yeah. But that's okay because it seems like we kind of agree on the stuff that I feel is like the most important. Like we could be different colors. We could be different ages. We could be different religions. But I, I think if our values are the same, we're going to be okay. You know what I mean? It, it, if you and I value the same things, yeah. you could play basketball and I could play baseball or whatever it is, but we can get along just fine as long as we have the same values. I, I think that's that's where it has to start. Do you think it's because of the product of liberal media? Do no. I think what is? Uh, pushing this agenda of uh, you know gender uh, neutrality and all these other stuff. Gender fluidity. <laughs> Don't you guys feel like things are kind of like being turned on their head. Like everything is just kind of, not everything, but <laughs> things are just kind of backwards. Like, I don't know exactly when it was, but it's like sometime after 2012, you just woke up one day and was like, what's Donald Trump is president and hmm. no boys and girls anymore. And yeah, what? I certainly thought that when <laughs> he became president, but yeah. I don't think Donald Trump was a product of, of, uh, of the environment, mm -hmm. uh, he he was made possible. I don't think he would have been elected in uh, 2008 or no. in 2012. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Uh, no, not in 2000 for sure. It's no. only when you had enough people that were obviously kind of fed up with the establishment. I guess this happens in, in in like cycles or whatever, you know. Yeah, I mean, the establishment had. Something to do with it, but I think it was a uh, election uh, of uh, of a black man. Yeah, I had more to do with anything else. Uh, they were like, uh, "Oh shit, this is possible." <laughs> <laughs> you know, a well, black man can be a uh, president. Well, it was that, and the people who didn't vote in twenty sixteen because yeah, he didn't follow through on what he said he would. Yeah, I mean that that's what I was trying to get at was a black man got elected. And then the people that voted for him didn't get the stuff from him that that he promised. Mm. You know, the, all the things that he was going to end the war. <laughs> he was going to uh, provide universal care. You know, all Public those things. Option, right? Yeah, all those things that they were going to, he promised, hope and change that was going to come <laughs> that never came. You yeah, know, disillusionment. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know. Trump had another solution. And he picked on it. Yeah. I mean, he, he's like, you know, he's, this is, uh, hey, you guys voted for this. Nothing came true. Vote for me. See what happens. Yeah. Nothing's going to come. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. That's a long way around that. But, yeah. 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 So things are long. Since, since we brought up Trump again, <laughs> uh, I guess it would be appropriate to bring up, you know, the fact that President Trump was – you know, banned from Twitter, mm. I guess really showing that's Twitter flexing its muscles. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. True. Um, so, I mean, where, where are you guys on the whole, I, I, I probably imagine you're going to say, well, they're private companies and all that. Do that right? But what about the responsibility of the government uh, officials to, you know, uphold, depend and protect our rights to, to speak. Okay. So like, I don't know who all has a home phone anymore. Probably, not a lot of people. I don't know anybody. Right? So, I don't know anybody. <laughs> so it used to be said that like AT&T couldn't like just stop you from having service just for uh, their opinion. They didn't like you because that was a public, um, um, a utility or yeah. whatever, you know what I'm saying? And so would you guys agree that some forms of social media are the same way? That's, it's like the, that's the public square, it's, even though it's a digital landscape, but. Mm. Um, I don't know how... Is it a utility? I don't think uh, Twitter and uh, Facebook are utilities. Mm. I don't think... Uh, I don't think it's a safety issue. Phone is a safety issue. If you have a... If you need help, call 911 or sure, something. Okay, but let's keep in mind now, when Donald Trump wanted to ban some people, a court decided that he could not ban those people. He had to unblock them from Twitter. Remember that? Mm. Yeah. 
Um, well, that's because he's a president, right? Well, then yeah. he got he himself got banned, though. So, um, I mean, I think it was his personal account that was banned. I think he also banned him from a White House Twitter account. Mm. I think that's what it was. I uh, I may be wrong. Yeah, I think it sounds right. Yeah, uh, and just like uh, he banned a CNN uh, reporter, what was it Jim, Jim Acosta? 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 Yeah, <laughs> and uh, they had to give him his uh, credentials back. Because uh, White House is not his house. You can ban people from your house, but White House is a uh, people's house. People's house. So you cannot ban, you know, reporters. It's part of the First Amendment, I guess. Wait a minute. Oh, oh yeah, the the the, uh, the right of the press. Right? Yeah. Okay. So so Donald Trump can't ban Jim Acosta from the White House, but Donald Trump can be banned from Twitter by Jack Dorsey. Mm-hmm. Right, that's because uh, that's Jack Dorsey's uh, right right to do that. I mean, it was it's it's a free product. It's like you said. It's yeah. like banning somebody from your house. Same thing, according to the courts. That's how they, that's how they see it. So, unless you want to change the laws, uh, maybe. Plus, oh, it's well, a free service. I mean, unless you're paying for it. Right. That's uh, and I think that's where a couple of years ago people yeah. were caught up in the whole when Barack Obama was saying we want a free and open internet. Mm -hmm. And everybody's like, yeah, well, I want to get behind that. I want to start paying for stuff. Okay, yeah, but you're forgetting that since you're getting it for free, they can regulate it and they can let you not use it. And if you're paying for a service, well, they can't deny you service, right? I mean, uh, <laughs> they can. <laughs> if, you, if you violate their terms, you can. Sure. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they could sure. do it. I mean, it's possible. Now, it's, it's these terms that are really kind of need to be the focus, I guess, because mm. the terms are really, when you get down to it, it's just somebody's opinion. Like, well, we don't like what he has to say, so we're just going to say he violated our community guidelines. And they're never really specific when I, I have, I subscribe to a lot of channels and a lot of them get censored and demonetized and they mm -hmm. get their videos taken down and they get these, they get strikes and they say, oh, your video violated this. But it's, it's never serious. I mean, I'm sorry. It's never specific on what they actually violated. And I think they're not specific because... They just don't like what they have to say. Yeah. They're either right leaning, you know what I mean, or they're not. Oh, they don't think that. Whatever it is, you yeah. know what I mean. So, well, now you're just censoring this whole side of the conversation. You know what I mean? And I, I think in this in this kind of search for truth that uh, I, I hope most of us are in. Well, we, I want to hear what they have to say. I yeah. want to hear what I want to know that I have options when it comes to what's taking place in the world. I don't want to have to just go here or here, mainstream here or mainstream here. Go to parlor. I mean, it depends on. Yeah, I mean, also it depends on <laughs> what they're putting out. I mean, uh, if they're putting out a bunch of lies and are not facts, then well, okay. But who decides what's true? Because again, like I pointed out a few minutes ago, when CNN and MSNBC and these uh, were saying, "Oh, Donald Trump colluded with the Russians," but those were lies, and they were continued to be able to. CNN's videos don't get taken down off uh, YouTube mm. ever. You know, they don't get even though they're lying. Oh, so so uh, just to use Alex Jones for an example because we brought, talked about him earlier. If he if he was wrong about some stuff that he was reporting about, well, he's equally wrong just as much as the mainstream media is wrong. Nobody's right all the time. And and, and remember the like the Las Vegas shooting that happened a, a few years ago at that country concert. It's like if you followed it from the first reports of it all the way to like six months later, it wasn't even the same story. It had changed so many times, you just can't make heads or tails of what really happened. And this is the mainstream media reports, I'm saying. Mm. Um, so, you know. So then who should govern these sites? I mean, who would, who would, it, would it be a, like a public? I know that that's, that's what it sounds like mm -hmm. I'm advocating for. I'm, I'm, I'm just advocating for, I want to be able to use other sources. I don't want my independent guys to be uh, canceled and, you know, deplatformed because they don't say the same things that Fox News says or CNN says. Yeah, I mean, in, but How in order to get that, you have to have regulations in place to prevent that right or i mean how else would you do it so if they're banning people the way you um based on ideology right well then what's going to stop them from doing that is it going to be public pressure is it going to be you know legal means i mean how would that how would that work i mean well, government has to come in and i mean do you want them to come in and do that i yeah. mean you know you know I me mean, i'm the last person who wants the government to come mm. somebody do something mm. but you know i want the i want the right for me and you and you and everybody to be able to say what they want to say no I'm not saying that everybody should just be able to post and, and put out whatever they want to. Uh, you know, I guess you know, just nobody wants to see certain things, but as long as we're just talking about a conversation, we can't say that, well, whatever he's saying is just too dangerous. We can't let people hear that. 
well, why not? Why is that dangerous? Is it dangerous to who? You know yeah. what I mean? Um, and you get what you happen. You you have like there where the government and and the mainstream media fellas and the big tech companies have like a monopoly on on news and information. You know they can control the whole narrative, and that's that's not going to be good if we get to a point where we we can't we don't have any uh, other places to go to get. I mean, uh, just along the line, uh, Rush Limbaugh. Do you think that he was a part of the rest in peace? Yeah. <laughs> A mainstream media, or was he independent, or how? How do you define oh, okay, him? Okay, as you were saying. I mean, Rush so Limbaugh was before Alex Jones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no doubt. And right. uh, Rush Limbaugh was, I would say, sort of a conspiracy theorist. He didn't talk about mm, a lot yeah. of the you know the stuff that Alex Jones did, but lizard people. Yeah. <laughs> But he did say, um, you know, things like, uh, you know, Clinton was the worst thing that ever happened to the United States. Was I mean, he part of the Pizzagate thing? Yeah, he, I mean, so he also <laughs> talked about that, yeah. I mean, do you think, what do you think about it? Was he part of the mainstream or was he um, well, a fringe? I mean, he, he has a, um, okay, well, first of all, it, let's define a couple things here. Because anymore, all you need to be labeled a conspiracy theorist is have a different opinion than what Fox News or, or CNN is, is saying. You know what I mean? If they're like, well, uh, here's what's going on with Russia and, and, and North Korea. If you're like, well, here's what I think is going on. Well, that's a crazy fringe thought. Where did you get that from? <laughs> what, if there's, what if there's evidence to back up what I'm saying? What if I, my opinions are based in some information that I got not from Tucker Carlson or whatever, you know what I mean? Something that they don't want us to know that somebody else had access to and he wants it to be out there. Yeah, but that's what uh, Rush Limbaugh did. He put the ideas out there uh, for people to, you know, kind of hold on to their their thought process because these are the things they were thinking anyway. And if you thinking that you know Bill Clinton is a pedophile and he was running a a pizza, you know, pedo- pedophilia <laughs> station and a and in a, out of a pizza store, you are going to believe those things. I mean, because it is He's a in your source, bubble. Right? Yeah. I mean, so now, if Rush Limbaugh is presenting me with evidence that I can count on and say, well, th- there's evidence right there that this is taking place, then I might want to believe that. Mm. If he's just saying, hey, you know what I think, guys? I think that he might be doing something, something with pizza and, ki- and kids. I might go. I that sounds know. like Rush Limbaugh. Not the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he ever presented evidence for anything, did he? No, I mean, they, that's what to. they do. I mean, they just put out an idea. I mean, yeah. it's an idea. There are no constraints, really. Yeah. I mean, just uh, just like uh, they do with the with the billionaires and the, you know, corporations that these are the, they are the job creators. They're not the job creators. I mean, corporations don't just, I mean, hire people because they want to they hire people because their products are needed yeah. they need to produce those products right we and they need people and that's the reason they need people i mean they're just not gonna that's why they need tax cuts yeah i mean they yeah i mean <laughs> you give them a, it doesn't matter how much tax cuts you're gonna give them <laughs> they're just not gonna hire people but once the ai robots take over we won't need people anymore and yeah right. Right about it. They're gone. So along that that line, I mean, this narrative where, and it's not popular just among rich and um, you know one percent. It's popular among uh, lower level also, uh, because they say, well, just like our friend was here last time. <laughs> I yeah. mean, he he was willing to give food to people. They were standing at a at a corner, yeah. but if you're working for minimum wage and not able to survive, then it's your fault. Yeah, yeah. do better. Yeah. <laughs> so a person that's standing at a corner is not his fault, but that work, the person that's working has a job, that's his fault. So, I mean, that's it's kind of a disconnect, right? Yeah, I mean, does that? So what I'm saying is, People believe in that stuff. 
and and they believe in those things because of uh, certain media. Yeah, I mean, I mean, for sure. I mean, uh, no matter what side you're on, I think there's a narrative being uh, spun. Right? I mean, they just you know that insurance companies are better than having a public option mm. or uh, universal health care when we know. Universal healthcare is just going to be a payment processor. I'm going to take over, you know, private uh, doctor practices. Okay, but how about this? Here's yeah. some lies that actually had dire consequences in the real world. Weapons of mass destruction. Mm-hmm. He has them. We know he has them. We got to go in there and get them. That's okay. a perfect example. So immediately, yeah. that individual and his family were on the run, and uh, most likely, they suffered horrible fates or whatever. You know, Not from, undeserved, I will say. Well, I'm just saying. They're pretty bad people. Who? Saddam Hussein? Okay, he's bad. Well, um, not that I'm not justifying invading. I'm just saying that I'm not going to lose any sleep over his death. That's all I'm saying. And, and, and just to let you and know. And nobody I'm, disagree with that, <laughs> that he was a bad person. Yeah. Well, you don't invade a country for yeah, that. Yeah. I mean, when you supported him for however many years. We just didn't want other two million people to die with him. <laughs> Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Well, like a half a million children died as mm-hmm. a result of us bombing their food supplies and whatever medicine plants. There's, you know, there's about, estimate is about 2 million people since uh, Bush won. Yeah. Since Bush won, yeah. Yeah, I mean, because the medicine wasn't getting in there because of our sanctions. They couldn't buy incubators because, uh, because of our sanctions. Yeah. So I don't know how many babies died because... What the hell? <laughs> we'll edit that out. <laughs> yeah, both Bushes did a number on that. Yeah, place. I mean, if you put since 1991, there's an estimate of about 2 million people died because of that and several million babies. Yeah, sure. And yeah, you're right. It was a lie. <laughs> I mean, it was based on lies. Um, um, now, I don't know if Rush Limbaugh was supporting those same lies, but we were definitely hearing them from the administration and the mainstream media people oh media media was uh, all hand you know uh, they went all along conservatives always go in on war i I mean unless you're uh who would it be like Rand paul (laughs) Rand paul (laughs) or ron paul yeah (laughs) they beat the drum (laughs) what do you guys think about ron paul you like him your fans he's all right i mean he's uh i mean his ideas are (laughs) some of our ideas are good like no war but off you go a little bit deeper than that, it just goes off the rails. <laughs> so. Yeah, well, yeah, no war is good. Well, he referred to himself as a strict constitutionalist, and he felt that that was why he wasn't popular in the uh, primaries. A lot of people uh, say that. Uh, I, it yeah, I mean, what does that mean anyway? I don't know. Yeah, I don't I mean, know what it means. Everyone says that they're uh, – conservatives say it all the time, but I don't know what yeah. it means. Because they are and then they're not. It depends on what, what the issue is. So it just – it all uh, depends. I mean, monetary policy that he talked about – it's just not possible. It's just not going to happen. Mm. I mean, he wants to go back to gold standard. <laughs> There's just not enough gold. <laughs> Those in days the, are gone. Yeah, They're in the gone. planet to be able to, yeah. you know, base your money on that. It's See, just last time you guys said something that really I, I'd never heard of this way before, and it, it's messed with me ever since. And and that's about the the Federal Reserve and the national debt and all that. Just the way you guys responded to my what about the national debt. Thing. Yeah. Uh, I just never heard it put that way before, you know, and I, I do have an open mind. I'm, if somebody can sure. sell me on something and that's will change my opinion about something, I'm willing to hear it. Um, so what is the deal with the national debt? What, what is the, um, it doesn't matter. It, well, let's ask Japan. I mean, they're at 200% of their GDP right now and they've been there for a long time. What, how, how long? 15, 20 years? More than that. They've never seen rising inflation. From early mid nineties. Yeah. And because yeah. they, uh, it's their currency. It's uh, they don't they don't depend on like the European the, the, what is it the euro or whatever. Yeah, they're trading in their own currency, so they're able to control um, how it fluctuates and it works. Doesn't doesn't work for everybody. It would work for us. I mean, it's not going to work for Greece because Greece does not control their own currency. None of the EU can do that. Yeah, it's not possible. Uh, and it's not going to work for country like uh, Russia. Mm. Or Mexico, even though they control their own currency, but their currency is not valuable as ours <laughs> because 
we have a military that says it's valuable. <laughs> well, that too, plus ours is we have tied certain things to, uh, you know, all countries have to buy oil in dollars. Right. The petrol so that's dollar. why, yeah, so that's why our currency is more valuable. Uh, it's considered, even though we have so much debt, it's considered more stable. Yeah. Uh, any country is willing, yeah. yeah. They look at dollar, they, they're willing to take it. As long as other people are willing to accept it, our currency is uh, very strong. And it's, it's, it's just currency. It's not, it's not wealth. I mean, it's just, <laughs> just cur- currency. Yeah, it's just currency. It's, it's just nothing exchange, else behind yeah. it, yeah. All right, it's just paper that says it has value because we say that it does. Yeah, right? it does. And, it's, and we can print it. We're the only country that can print dollars. Nobody else can. Yeah. Um, so we can have the So market. the debt, debt is not a problem. It's just when it becomes inflation. That becomes a problem. Yeah, because that's when it affects us. Yeah. yeah. So we've had as long as we don't have inflation, we have okay. inflation for how long now? Yeah. So, yeah, that's just monetary policy, though. That, um, it can be controlled. And they have pretty well so far. So what do you guys think, real quick, what do you guys think the magic number is? Like, what, what is too much debt? We're at $28 trillion or something right now? Mm. Uh, nobody knows because it used to be where, you know, your debt cannot exceed your... International, yeah. Yeah. So we're already at about 130% right now. Like I said, Japan's at 200%. So, yeah. I mean, what is the number? Who knows? I mean, there is uh, no number. Yeah. No one has a number. I mean, Nobody I've knows. Looked. There's no economist that says this is the number where it happens. They like, look at uh, employment rate, inflation rates, and it's just there's nothing there. What do you think the government's credit score is? Well, they have a triple A, don't they? Uh, I think the United States, yeah, is yeah. rated triple Even A. Even with all that trillions of dollars, they still have they still pay they, because they pay on it. They don't they pay the interest on. Yeah, it. they don't make payments. And the and the again the interest is treasury bonds, right? That's what we're talking about. We're talking about treasury bonds. And do you own any? I own some. Yeah, I mean. So yeah. I own some of the debt. Do you have any? I, I'm I'm not sure. I, I think I got it. Yeah. So they issue that debt. Um, I mean, and the concept is you know that other countries own our debt and they're gonna want our their money. Most of it is owned by you know, United States citizen. Yeah, it's, most it's, of the debt. It's like uh, unfunded liabilities. And, and uh, Japan owns more of our debt than China does, right? It does. Yeah. So and I'm uh, too worried about it. But, the, but China's a big scary, the big bad. We're yeah. About, well, China's always come collect. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't happen. I mean, they're not going to the, come collect. Yeah. They're not going <laughs> to. Yeah. That doesn't even if they ask day, for yeah. it, we can just print it and give it to them. We yeah, can. Right? Yeah. Uh, and they don't need to anyway. Yeah. Because they're not in debt like we are. <laughs> so they're doing a better job than we are in their finances. So. But either way, yeah. So that's not a concern we have. Um, we're more concerned with the practical effects of how to use the money and where it's coming from. Yeah, I mean, as long as the money is being used to produce stuff yeah. that's going to benefit people, you don't have any problem. Uh, I mean, they're, if they use it to build infrastructure, build high rails, uh, speed rails, not a problem. it's good. It's good. So. Yeah. Only the materials to build it with. Yeah.